All right, guys. This is what we're doing today. Alto Sham. We are replacing this manifold right there. When they're cooking product in here. Yeah, I know it's dirty. I interrupted them right in the middle of using it, so it's not clean because of me. Anyway, when they're cooking product in here, they put the probe in the product and they plug the probe into these manifolds. And that's how the unit knows how how hot the, the product is, what the internal temperature of it is, and when to stop cooking it. So we have a retrofit kit that we're going to be installing today. Potted manifold retrofit kit. And this kit comes with a new manifold, a new rubber grommet, some new screws, food grade silicone, and this handy dandy how-to guide. Now, just for presentation purposes, I'm going to follow this how-to guide step-by-step. Step. I'll put a little picture up in the upper left-hand corner of each, each little section. It's, it's a fairly simple install. Once, you do, once you've done one, it's, it's very, very easy. So, start there, right? Obviously, it's unplugged because it's sitting on a table in the dining room. So, pull this top panel off and we'll get started. Alright, next step, we need to remove this plug, J4, and the one right back here, J6. Simple enough. And these two go right down to our manifold here. I already cut my zip ties. Step five, step six is to dig out all this caulk. So make sure you bring a razor knife because you're going to need it. All right, so all the caulk has been removed. That means we can successfully drop our manifold down and pull these plugs through this little hole. All right. Gonna need a seven, what is this, a seven millimeter socket.
All right, there's our manifold. And normally, you'll have to cut some of this old caulk out of there, but uh, yeah, it's not the case on this one, so we're gonna be skipping that step. And then we just pull our wires through this little hole. Now we put the new one in. Alright guys, so it looks like this hole has been um, opened up before, so I don't need to do that today, which also means there's no sleeve to remove as well, as you see in step number 11. So we're going to move on to 13 and 14 right now. I'm going to install this, which I already split. like so and then we need to put a bead of silicone just along the front edge of this and then we can put it in place all right silicone's in place and again it only goes on the front right above our ports now let's put it on All right, so step number 15 and 16, we're gonna plug these wires back into this terminal, and we're gonna plug them back into the board. Pretty simple. Notice the plug it can really only go on one way, so if you screw it up, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't be in this business. Alright guys, we are finished. As you can tell, 
put a nice mound of caulk over top of that grommet. Again, it's not in the manual, but this oven cavity gets very, very hot, very, very steamy. So, that little bit of caulk, in my opinion, is going to do more good than harm. So anyway, all we got to do is put the uh, top back on. Manifold's in place. Looks good. And then we'll wheel it into the back and plug it in. Good to go.